new in at Sainsbury's, and the first time I've ever seen it anyway, is Shandy Shack, and it's their elderflower lager top. So obviously a lager, 2.5%, so typical shandy is, you know, um, strength. Tastes like chilling on a sun-drenched beach. A lively lager topped with a splash of crisp elderflower presse. Top it like it's hot. 105 calories per can, lower alcohol. So, you know, good for those people that want to be low alcohol. Gluten-free, all natural and vegan. 330 ml can, uh, Shandy Shack Limited from Bampton, OX, OX, Oxfordshire. So, here we go, we'll jump straight into the review. I've just come off sitting with my grandson, because uh, we, my grandchildren are in our bubble, just in case anybody out there wants to, you know, go down that road. And uh, I've had him on my arm for an hour hour and a half and my arm I've got arm the arm of death and it's my drinking arm my right arm it's a lovely looking pour um there we are last drop put it there so you can actually see the can or the can there we go so yeah good carbonation on this fella um straw colour pour I would say like gold straw colour depends on which way you like it's it um, lovely fluffy white head, lovely bubbly little white head on there. I think you can see it. Don't tip it too much. There you go. Hint of elderflower on the nose. Bit of lager malt on the nose as well. Cheers all. Let's dive in. Oh. Oh yeah. So straight away. It's crisp, it's refreshing, it's what you'd expect anyway from something that's 2.5%. It's basically a lager shandy with an elf elderflower top, you know, when you cut down, cut it down to basics. But yeah. Oh. Oh. The um, elderflower lasts quite a bit. Good taste on the elderflower, it's quite, there's a sweetish blast of elderflower. take it in it just resonates all around the mouth very nice I see I like the sweet stuff I like a lot of different beer varieties you know you can't be a beer reviewer and not like a lot of different stuff and obviously unlike a lot of a lot unlike a lot of other people I review both homebrew beers wine spirits lager ciders craft beers and yeah I like the alcohol it's got to be decent, obviously. So I bought this in Sainsbury's Arnold today. And uh, got to the tills with it. I think it was about two quid, something like that. I can't remember for sure. Might have been about 170. Got to the tills and there was an issue with it. They want to say you can't put it through the tills. It's, but it's on the shelf. So I don't know if there was an issue that day with the system that sometimes happens with superstores where and in the end they just put it through they grabbed something else the same price and scanned it through the amount of flavor is good i have had in the past when i worked at sainsbury's i left six years ago there was a trend then of having low alcohol lagers but the sad thing was that the flavor profile just wasn't strong enough um i can name them because they're not around anymore the carling zest brand they had ginger all sorts of different flavors but the flavor profile wasn't strong enough and sadly you know that ruined it really if you're going to bring something out that's 2.8 or as this is 2.5 it's got to contain flavor if it's too subtle, and that they were too subtle, if it's too subtle, people won't come back. With any drink, would you like to drink it again? It's the key thing. Because sellability, redrinkability.
Now, if I was going somewhere and I wanted something that was um, easy going, say I'm driving, you know, you can have a couple of these and you're fine, you know. Although well, technically you're not really supposed to drive and drink, drink and drive, but 2.5% uh, is not going to hurt the bank. You know, they're only 330 mils, so two or even three of these, you know, or one, one and a half pints is it's going to go pretty quickly. Um, but what it has got is that taste it's got. Just like a decent lager shandy in the pub, where you get a lager top, and now they get a bit of black currant or a bit of elderflower in. If they've got whatever cordial they've got, just to, just to take take the lager edge off the, I would say the blandness of the lager, because let's be fair, most lager is quite bland unless it's a craft or a flavoured lager. Nice bit of bite on the back end as well, when you slip it quite a bit. All in all. Very drinkable, enjoyable. My first beer from the new Sainsbury's range. And I've got to say, this was a nice one. Um, and uh, my good friend and Nicola, who works in Sainsbury's Arnold, was the person who dressed it on the shelves. Luckily, I've got quite a few good friends still in the beers, wines and spirits um, departments across multiple Sainsbury's. And it's the old reason I became a beer reviewer, a lot of it, because I just fell in love with beers. So, you know, you see your beers every day at work. You can't help but think, what does that taste like? You taste one, taste another, and then so on and so forth. Um, for me, being const constructive, I actually like this. Yeah, uh, the ABV is like a table beer, 2.5%. Right, it's right. made for hot, sunny days. The warm weather's coming. Um... Yeah, the warm weather's definitely coming. 2.5% is not too strong, like I say, but it's got a good flavour to it. The elderflower really comes through quite well. Well played. A good um, low alcohol beer. 105 calories only, so not too taxing on the old calorie funds either. And uh, yeah, I thought it was okay. Would I drink it again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I wanted something that was a bit more low alcohol, yes, definitely. Out of five, for me, I'd give this a good 4.3 out of five. Very nice, very well done. Yeah, sometimes these, these beers come from nowhere and just make you smile. This is one of those beers. As always, thank you everyone for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing. And uh, we'll see you, um, if you're watching this tonight, you'll see me about 8 o'clock for, I would say, four different beers. And um, yeah, back to the old um, one craft, one local, one traditional and something else. Cheers.